What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my camp on what is a glorious summer day in Surrey. Thank you very much for checking out the video, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel, thank you very much for checking it out. So I've been here since around ooh, half past nine this morning, and I think it's now about two o'clock. Uh, I spent the entire morning making a really cool new fire pit. So I'll just show you it very quickly. So I spent all morning uh, making my version of a kind of a Viking fire pit. Uh, my, that was the last video that I would have put up, so if you haven't watched that and you're interested in it, go check it out, it was really cool. Uh, and now in the afternoon, uh, because I'm spending the whole day here, I thought it would be really cool to uh, build myself another kind of little addition to my camp uh, in the form of a bushcraft chair. So my plan for this afternoon is to do what I said I was going to do a couple of video videos ago, which I never did, which is to push my bed back um, further inside my shelter and build myself a bushcraft chair. Let's do it! Alright, so I've decided I'm going to build the bushcraft chair first, namely because um, I spent a lot of time and energy making the fire pit this morning and I'm kind of tired and to be brutally honest, the idea of moving my bed back and pulling up all the stakes and then redoing them and moving the bed around just doesn't fill me with joy <laughs> at the moment, so I'm going to try and make the chair first. So as with everything on my channel, I've never done this before. I've no idea how it's going to go. Um, as always, I've watched a few other bushcrafters on YouTube do it. It looks relatively straightforward. Everything is relative. Um, so I've got a few tools. I've got my Raymere's uh, Bransfer's Brooks Axe, and I've got my Backer Laplander saw, uh, and I've got some paracord in my bag as well. That should, I think, in theory, oh, my knife, my, um, my TBS uh, Mark II bore knife. So those should be the only tools that I need in order to make this chair. Um, the reason I'm making the chair is, is just because, well, it's something that I've never done before and it might be quite cool to have um, another spot to sit on other than the bed because I can't lean back really on the bed. I'm constantly kind of hunched over, um, which is okay, but, um, you know, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. So it'd be nice to, uh, to be able to rest my back. So that's the plan. So to start off with, I need, um, four nice big pieces of log, nice big pieces of log um, that are roughly I think the same thickness as my wall pieces uh, that are as straight as possible and with as few knots as possible. That's something that I have really struggled to find in the area that I am. Um, most of the trees around me are still alive so obviously I don't want to cut any of those down uh, and the ones that I have found that are dying, um, dead rather, uh, they're often not as straight as I need them to be so who knows how this is going to go. But that's the first task, so I am going to get on with it. Going to get on with it. I have energy, everything is fine. Maybe I'll just have a little drink of water first. Ah. Right, let's hunt some wood. Kind of a weird thing to say. <clears throat> Massively straight. That's a shame. Well, that'd be good firewood for later, so mark that, come back to it. Ooh, okay, I found a good bit here, I think, so it's a bit awkward given where it is. Maybe I can clear a bit of a path to it. Push that over without taking it too much. See if we can take this piece down. There's swiftly and carefully and safely as possible and then we'll go find another bit.
maybe I'll just move the camera. Camera. Come on. Oh, I don't get hung up. Okay, I think we're out. Let's go. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah. Beauty. So I'm working at the back of my shelter, uh, namely because I've got more room this side at the moment and it's in the shade, which is, uh, is really nice at the moment. The other side's really quite hot. So anyway, I'm digressing. So I've got, as I said before, I've got my ax, got my saw, got my knife, and I've got some paracord in this bag. Let's make a bushcraft chair. <clears throat> So I said before, the first thing I need is four pieces that are, uh, I think, the same size uh, and as straight as possible. So I'm just going to buck up this tree uh, and get as many pieces as I can. One thing I do need to double check, because I don't know for certain, is how big they should be. Uh, I think they need to come up to my waist, maybe, just above my waist. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, I don't know if you saw, but this uh, end of my tree here uh, is very curvy which means uh, it won't be much use for the chair, but will be useful for firewood later. So I'm gonna chop it off just before this knot here, because um, uh, the rest of this log here is relatively straight. So it's not perfect, but I'm sure, you know, when is life perfect? So we'll do, uh, we'll do what we need to do. Oh, I'm gonna get my sit pad actually. Oh, save the old knees. Okay, so the bloke I've been watching build a bushcraft chair um, and I'll leave a, a link or a, a card to that video if you want to watch it because it's really good. Um, he had uh, he did his measurements to just above his just above his waist so I'm gonna copy him uh, and hope that it works out for the best. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is stand this big bad boy up. Oh, he says confidently. There we go. And just make a mark on the tree with my knife, roughly where I want it to be. So kind of there. Get soaring. Might be time for a new blade. <laughs> this one's all bent and curved. Still gets the job done. four pieces that are relatively the same length. Uh, now what I need to do is take off any sort of extra pokey out limbs like that and then with the axe uh, angle and taper them, taper the ends so that they fit together um, so that these two pieces here, the two ends of it, are nice and flat against each other. So it's an angled cut with the axe um, and yeah hopefully they fit together. I'm not sure what the angle is supposed to be, I think it's probably supposed to be like that. So I'll have to try and not cut them too deep. But as I say, never done this before, so I don't really know what I'm doing, making it up as I go along. Really? First bit and my chopping log falls over. Come on! Stay. Still doesn't feel very stable. Never mind. <clears throat> Gone, not. Let's take some of this bark off. that way, let's try and do it this way. This really isn't stable enough. Damn. Darn and blast! Oh, fine. Let's try this, which is still not overly stable. Ah well, where was I? That might be too much, but we'll try it. Next one. Let's take 
So having made a mess and vaguely got my two pieces to fit together, um, I'm now going to tie them together with some paracord. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just going to put a notch on both of these to, uh, to allow the paracord to sit a bit nicer. So if I mark that one there, and that one there, all I'm going to do is take my knife and carve a little notch in. Nothing overly extreme, just somewhere for the paracord to sit. Blade needs sharpening. Seems really dull and really struggling. <clears throat> Let's put that away. Let's just carefully. That'll do. Okay. Now to put them together, I'm just going to get a bit of paracord. do. Now the guy in the video that I've been watching did overhand loops and then tied them together using that but uh, I think what I'm going to do just to be different is use a tried and tested favourite Canadian jam. So if any of you are unsure how to make a Canadian jam they're really really simple. Just tie a simple stopper knot and then you tie another stopper knot but you leave it loose. Like that. Don't need all of this, so let's just cut that. <clears throat> Go underneath, pull these two together, and then your free end goes through the loose knot, which then tightens up against your stopper knot should, if it's in the right place, there we go, be able to just ratchet on it eventually. He says confidently without it actually working. What have I done wrong? Oh, I've done it wrong. <laughs> Why is this not working? So tighten up. Eventually what should happen is the, your, over, your loose overhand knot should tighten up against the other one. So I'm not entirely sure what I've done wrong here. So, oh well, uh, let's take it off and we'll try again. Curiouser and curiouser. This definitely works, I know, because I've done it. <laughs> so why are you not working now? <clears throat> Embarrassing me in my video. Embarrassing myself, really, let's face it. <clears throat> oh, there we go, seems to be working now. wonder why that did it weird the first time then. Oh well. Ah, ratchet! And then just to be on the safe side, I'm just going to wrap this around a bunch of times. Nice and tight. And I'll just tie the excess off to this little bit. Just with simple, nothing fancy, overhand knot. Hopefully, 
that'll stay in place. Right, let's do the other one. Okay, so hopefully this is in shot. As you can see, I've just made four cuts uh, in what I think is gonna be <clears throat> the bit where I actually sit. So what I'm gonna do now is carve out in between these two lines, and then the other thing that I will do is, the other thing that the bloke does at least anyway, is uh, he carves um, a bit out of the cross piece as well, so that it sits nice and flat. Uh, and then I'm gonna use my ax to take off all of these pokies, because obviously I don't want those going into my posterior. So let's carve these bits out. Oh, my axe works terrible. Not looking forward to this. going too badly now I just need to find a way to do the other side maybe if I turn it over maybe that's the key realize you can't see now can you uh, I'll move I'll move the camera I've got this right, I have to do the same thing as I've just done here on the other side, on the flip side. So, with that marked in there, pushed against, put this pushed against this, and then this log pushed against this, I think is how it's supposed to be done. So I now need to mark again where I need to cut this log, so. those pieces on so I think that actually construction is kind of complete all the uh, actual sort of hacking and sawing and paracording is done and what we do now is slide this bit through this hole here so this goes through here uh, he says confidently Get in there. And then, in theory, we have a working bush ratchet chair. Now this doesn't feel overly stable, just from looking at it. So, if this collapses, I'm going to be really disappointed. Don't collapse, don't collapse, don't collapse. Oh. 
It works! Amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that worked. Oh, I was really worried it was all going to fall apart as soon as I sat on it, but it seems to be holding fun. Which makes me very, very happy. I will be honest, say it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. I think what I actually should do is get some more sticks to layer across these two bits here. Um, I think that will be a more comfy chair. So let's do that, shall we? I'm so tired now. There is no way I'm moving my bed. That's taken me a long time. Must have taken me at least sort of two and a half hours, I think. Uh, which given all the stuff I did this morning, I am out of energy. So I think what I will do is get some sticks, move my chair to the front of the fire, front of the fire, front of the shelter, and just relax. Can you tell I'm tired? My brain's turned to mush. I can't even form sentences anymore. Whew. Right. Oh. Thank you very much for joining me folks thank you very very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope that you feel inspired to go and try this yourself i know that i uh, made it seem a little long-winded and this chair um, certainly doesn't look like the one in the video of the blog that i watched but as i said um, earlier i'll put a, uh, a link to that video or a, or a card up um, to that video so that you guys can go and check it out because his really is is a masterpiece but anyway mine works so i'm happy enough with it so i'm going to call this video uh, done. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you're new here, please feel free to uh, to subscribe, hit the bell to stay notified. You know, like, share, all that kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.